Hey fellow gardeners, Dawn here from Seasonal Designs. We are smack dab in the middle of winter container season right now. And I thought it might be fun to take you guys along on some client installations. So today you're going to see two business installations and one homeowner installation. And I think you guys are going to find it interesting and I know you're going to get some great ideas to use in your containers. So if you're ready, we have got a busy day ahead of us. Let's get going. Well, the first thing that happens is there is a lot of prep work that goes into these containers. I need to decide what I'm going to put in there. I probably need to shop some things I have in storage. But I really like to prep in advance. The tags come off, the plastic comes off. I then put together what I'm going to put in each of my clients' containers and then, then group them in buckets. And each client will have one, two, or sometimes three buckets full of the extra, the bling. And I take those with me on installation day. So many times I can't find exactly what I want when it comes to the ornaments I want to stick in. Sometimes I'll just make one ornament on a stick. Sometimes I'll make a grouping of three. And they're really easy to make. You just wire all the ornaments together, make sure they're plastic. Take that wire, wrap it around your stick, and then I cover up that wire with some floral tape to keep the wire in place and just kind of keep everything protected, then I have exactly what I need. But this also takes time. And again, I do all of this before we head out for client installations. I also like to put together in advance kind of the bling that I'm going to be putting in. A lot of this is based on store colors. So for example, this one here is a jewelry store that is kind of an emerald green and that is a color that's in their store as well as their storefront windows. The next one is also based on a business that has a lot of silver and that really pretty blue color is inside their business. And so I really try to make sure that the inside is talking to the outside. While I purchase my branches in advance and sometimes my greens, I do stop at local garden centers because these days they have a pretty good supply of greens. Okay, let's just get to work. Well, then it's off to the first job site. And because we do containers for all four seasons, we are typically cleaning out the prior season. And in this case, it is fall. So we're gonna remove everything from this container, even though we still have branches in there. We have fresh things that we'll be putting in so that this looks absolutely stunning for our clients. Now a tip I wanna give you is when you're taking out the previous season, make sure you leave in all of the dirt and as much of the root balls as possible. What that does is it's gonna provide a really good base for you to use when you start adding in the things you're gonna be using for the next season's container. So here you can see I'm really having to push some of these sticks in, but that is really gonna hold everything in place. The next thing I'm adding are these beautiful golden curly willow branches. And these branches were just exceptional this year. So all of this is going into that dirt and that dirt is gonna hold everything in place. Next up, I'm going to add some of the, a little bit of the taller bling, I'm gonna call it. These are these gorgeous sort of champagne colored frosted leaves that I'm gonna be adding, which is gonna be the start of kind of the bling that we'll be adding to this container. So you heard me say it, we are now going to add some of the greens. What I'll be adding to these containers will be some Fraser fir. I will be using some cedar, and I believe I have a little bit of pine that I'll be adding to this. And you wanna add in a couple of different varieties 
if possible because it's going to give it a little bit more texture. The greens have a little variation in color in them and that just adds to the depth and fullness of this container. It doesn't matter what season container you're working on, you can still think of it as in the thriller, filler, and a spiller. In this case, my thriller are my branches and gonna be some of my bling. The filler here is going to be a lot of the greens. So you can see my Fraser, I've kind of put that in an upright fashion, just sort of fill in this large container. Now I'm adding some cedar around the edges and that is going to just kind of gently spill over the edge. Once I have all of the greens in, the next thing I like to do is spray some wilt proof on it. That is gonna help keep the greens from drying out too quickly. Next up, we are gonna add some more bling in here, more uh, as part of that thriller. And then I'm gonna add some faux magnolia. So I'm just gonna add two sprays of this. But what this does is it adds, again, more color. So it has a darker green and then brown on the back of the leaves, like a true, real magnolia leaf. And then it also adds some texture. So I have added real magnolia in these, but I find that with our harsh Wisconsin winters, they do tend to break down quickly. So when I found these faux magnolia sprays, boy, I, I bought some and I have been using them ever since. Now I am going to add in some of this beautiful emerald green sort of blingy balls. They almost look like disco balls, but they work so well with this client. If you look inside that glass door, you can see some of the green that they have inside their store. And then they also have a lot of the same green in their windows um, that face the street. So I'm really trying to tie kind of the indoors and the outdoors together for the holiday season. I've also added some pine cones with a, like a spritz of a champagne glitter on them, a couple of beautiful champagne ornaments that I'm sticking in here and just a few lash champagne colored sprays. And then that is gonna be it for these containers and they are so pretty. Lucky for us, our next client is just a block or two down the street and we are gonna be doing the same thing, cleaning out the containers that we originally put in for fall. So for this client, we have three containers that we will be coordinating together, two at the front entrance and one at their back entrance. And for this client, I am using white branches along with that beautiful willow. Again, using same greens, we're using some Fraser and some beautiful cedar. And then we'll be adding additional bling to this one as well. Next up, I'm adding these really unusual pods that I found. They're in this kind of soft teal color and the pods are somewhat feathery looking and they really added a nice texture to this container. I also add in a number of clusters of white berries. Then I added in some sparkly, some silver sparkly eucalyptus, as well as some silver pine cones to this arrangement. I also made a couple of clusters of ornaments in that same silver and teal color. And then last but not least, I added some icicle-tipped sprays to this arrangement as well. So you have one, two, three, and then you have one, two Perfect. for the back. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay. Okay. 
And here are the final containers. I think they turned out so great. My client was super happy with these. They add such texture and such color, and really they just make a wonderful statement to this entryway. Well, this is much later in the day, and I thought for this video, we would show you one more install, and this happens to be a home. So we have two containers here to this entryway that obviously we've got to clean out our fall stuff first, and then we'll get going on what we're going to put in these two containers. This would be a good time for me to introduce you to my sister, who started helping me with client installs a couple years ago. And let me tell you, I appreciate her help so much. It makes for a much quicker and more organized client install. And quite honestly, while I love doing containers, she makes it even more enjoyable. Let me talk a little bit about this curly willow branch, this really gold looking branch. You'll notice that I combined it with different things in a couple of the containers. That first set of containers, it was with a really kind of thick birch log. The second set of containers, I combined it with white branches. And in this set of containers, I'm gonna combine it with this super bright red branch. The combination of this willow with these different things, number one, shows how versatile it is, but I think it really makes the other branch really kind of pop. So just absolutely loved this particular set of willow branches uh, that I was able to get my hands on this year. All right, here we are, already have some of the greens added. Again, same greens, we're adding a different, a spruce, a fraser, some cedar, some pine, really filling in this container so that it looks very full. The other thing I wanna talk to you about is, you know, some of these containers you're gonna see on all sides. These two containers, you're gonna see these from every single side, so you really need to pay attention to that. The set of containers I did that sat flush against the building, you don't have to pay as much attention to the back of the container because it's sitting flush against a building. But for these, you wanna just kind of work it all the way around. And I guess the other thing I do wanna mention is just make sure you have enough stuff to fill a container and make sure you're stuffing it full so it has that beautiful full look. All right, for these containers, my berries are going to be both red and white. So I'm gonna start by adding the red bunches or sprays to this container. And then my sister's handing me some of the white sprays. So this, I really like the red and white in these containers because the red sort of ties into the beautiful red brick of this home. And then the white, is tying in to the window trim. So again, even though I'm at a home, I'm trying to make sure that what I'm putting in their containers either is speaking to the inside of a building, or in this case, it is speaking to the outside of this building and really tying the two together. Then I added a clump of three large red ornaments to the front of that container. And then I'm using just a natural pine cone all around. And again, I just think they turned out beautiful. They make such a gorgeous statement or focal point to the entryway of this beautiful home. And of course, we added some lights to these so that in the evening, it just provides this really beautiful soft glow. That is gonna be it for today's video. 
I hope that you found it interesting. I hope you got some great ideas and I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.